So something happened. We got a sneak peek of a very small but potentially very significant item that might indicate that the new iPad Magic Keyboard is dropping soon and that it's backward compatible. Let's ramble. Hold up. Face go up when I pull up. They all on me like a once. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. All right, I know what you're thinking, not this guy again talking about the iPad Pro. And you're right, I did just drop a video on the latest iPad Pro news and rumors last Saturday, but I did promise you all that I would update you whenever there's anything significant to report. And I do think this little bit of news can be very significant to all of us that are waiting full of anticipation for all of these new Apple products to launch. So. Here we go. What happened? Well, someone dropped some leaked images of the label we find on the backside of the Apple Magic Keyboard. And what makes those images interesting is that they refer to the iPad Pro 11 inch third generation, which indicates that the new iPad is coming soon, but equally exciting, the new Magic Keyboard is coming soon. I do remember being far more excited about the first generation Magic Keyboard to arrive than I was about the actual 2020 update of the iPad Pro. But then again, the new 2021 iPad Pro does look like it will be much more than just an incremental upgrade. So I guess the iPad and the new Magic Keyboard go head to head for me in terms of level of excitement. So this label surfaced via the Weibo account of a guy named Uncle Pan. And for those of you who don't know Weibo, it is basically like Chinese Twitter. Anyway, Uncle Pan tweeted this. Yeah, that doesn't tell us much. But fortunately, we live in the age of technology and Google Chrome will let us slap on some Google Translate, which results in some serious Chinglish, but enough for us to understand what is being said, which is the new iPad Pro will be announced, AirPods will be updated, a full screen iPad mini is out of play, which I interpret as is not happening, and there will be new accessories on the market. And in the context of the image below the tweet, that clearly is in reference to the Magic Keyboard. We also are expecting an upgraded Apple Pencil. I did a full video on that a few weeks back, but for those of you who didn't see that, just a quick recap, Mr. White, an Apple leaker, posted an image which showed what we believe to be the new Apple Pencil. The biggest differences were the glossy finish, and I do hope it is not the case for the final product, and a much larger pencil tip. And this last bit really got the rumor mill going because a larger tip could indicate additional technology, and coupled with some known Apple patents, this could mean a couple of things, like gesture controls, a real life color picker, which would allow you to tap on any color on an object and replicate that on the screen of your iPad. And maybe it could even mean haptic feedback in the Apple Pencil. But this is just me dreaming out loud. Anyway, it would make sense if this new Apple Pencil dropped alongside the iPad Pro and the new Magic Keyboard. Now, let's get back to the tweet of Uncle Pan. First of all, we don't know very much about Uncle Pan. Apple Track, which is the website that keeps track of the accuracy of different Apple leakers, has no information about Uncle Pan. Of course, I did a little Google search myself, and I did land on an Instagram account with the same name, but for some reason, I don't think this is him. Please, God, don't let this be him. Of course, it could also be the case that this is just an updated label for the current iPad Magic Keyboard. I'm not putting my money on anything or my eyebrows. But anyway, let's just assume the information is legit. The label looks exactly the same as the labels we're used to from Apple. I have the box of my 12.9 inch 2020 version right here. And as you can see, it looks pretty identical. So let's have a closer look at the information on the label. We see that it refers to the 11 inch model. I mean, that part of the label is scrambled or smudged, but if we zoom in, we can clearly see that it says 11 inch. We also see that it refers to the first generation of the 11 inch iPad Pro, the second and the third generation, which would mean the 2021 version, because as we all know, the 11 inch iPad Pro has only seen two generations so far. So what does that mean? It would mean that the new iPad Pro Magic Keyboard would be backward compatible with the previous 11 inch models. And this will make a lot of people quite happy because a lot of you guys told me in the comments that you couldn't wait for the 2021 iPad Pro and you went and bought the 2020 model. Or you already own the 2020 model, you don't wanna upgrade again, but you do have some gripes with the current Magic Keyboard like I do, or you don't own a Magic Keyboard at all, which means you could get the new one instead of the current one. That does not necessarily mean that it will work the other way around, meaning that I'm not sure whether the 
new iPad Pro will work with the current Magic Keyboard. Also, I wonder if the 12.9 inch version will be backward compatible as well, since in previous videos, we talked about the fact that the 11 inch is almost certainly sticking with the LCD screens, but the 12.9 inch is rumored to get the new mini LED technology. And because of heat dissipation, it will need a larger thermal envelope, which would mean the iPad Pro 12.9 inch will be thicker. Now, unless Apple found a way to keep it the exact same weight, I don't know if the current Magic Keyboard would still work since it is so carefully balanced and a heavier iPad might make it tip over even easier. So let's just recap what we expect to see in the new Magic Keyboard. And again, this is based primarily on Apple's outstanding patents. We addressed these in previous videos, but not everyone has seen those. So very quickly, the patent Apple registered shows a design that could store and charge the Apple Pencil inside the hinge. The hinge itself could be raised higher, which could mean that function keys are coming. And last but not least, it could be folded down all the way, which would fix one of the biggest gripes I have with the current Magic Keyboard. Some people seem to believe that we will be able to get more angles on the new keyboard since the current one has a quite limited range, but I don't really see that happening because it's already a balancing act and more angles would probably mean an even heavier base. And this would not be ideal since the current Magic Keyboard is already a very chunky boy. There's a couple of things I would like to see, like a different type of material that doesn't show literally every fingerprint and doesn't pick up every single piece of lint. I don't think it should be aluminum, but maybe something less gross. But mostly, I really look forward to the clipboard angle because I take a lot of notes and not being able to lay it flat inside the case is a big pet peeve of mine. Currently, I use this iPad stand for that, which is the Compass Pro by 12 South. And even though it does a great job, less is more, and I would love to be able to replace this with a Magic Keyboard so I don't have to bring two items. And more importantly, I won't have to take it out of the case. I do hope the current Magic Keyboard will work with the new iPad because I think a lot of you will be absolutely livid if the keyboard you just dropped four Ben Franklins on becomes nothing more than a paperweight after you upgrade to the new iPad Pro. Let me know in the comments below what is the one feature that you really want to see on the new Magic Keyboard. And also let me know what douchey move from Apple would make you want to set Apple HQ on fire. Disclaimer, in no way do I endorse or encourage any acts of pyromania. Arson is a felony. We love Apple. Please don't hurt them. All right, guys, if you like the video, please give it one of these. It really helps with the algorithm. Feel free to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.